again with the Rare Adventures. <laughs> Mello, they try to give me the camera. Nick, I gotta watch my language or they can't use the film, so let me just be kind today. Oh, you see the orange kicks? He trying to be like his daddy, it's okay. <laughs> You feel me? You got my brother right here. That's yeah. twig. You see the number. Oh, where my jewelry at? Big oh, two. Big two. Big two. Look at Cody. That boy stay serious. Yeah, we live. I know that ain't chump. <laughs> Big Mark, you feel me? You already know. This is my rook right here. This gang. I love my boy. <laughs> you feel me? I treat my, my boy with respect, though. Y'all got to learn how to do this. I have my dog right there, though. You know, you know, he stay activated. KO in the building. You know. Yeah, all that. Teamwork make the dream work. Gordon Hayward, G28. You running your own media day? Yeah, yeah, you Kai Jones. Oh, nah. You feel me? Oh, yeah, you feel me, you feel me. My boy got to show he working. You know, that, that that's what we do. We motivate it. That's what I like to see, baby. We driven. You know. And we checking out. I'm done for today. I'm gone. We are live. We are live. Unoriginal FC back in the car. And I done told you lot, I was going to post the second video. All right? Romero Ball, Media Day. Listen, you lot see the clip at the beginning of the video. The man's vibe is just different. The number one is that number for him. He told you lot. The vibe is different, right? Before I go into the video, as always, love, peace and blessings to the Lit House gang, my brother Rev, my brother Self Made, Malik, Barch and the OG, Money, you know what I'm saying? 704, Money Bags, Queen, Judah, Little Affirmative, like, you, don't, you don't know the gang, Danetta, you don't know the gang, you don't know the gang. Sean, Sean Bless. Come on, man, I can't be forgetting no names. You feel me? Peace and love to you all. But like I said, man, the boy Lamello Bull, he feeling different. The vibe's different. I'm telling you lot, it's different vibes this year. Number one jersey. That little video clip I showed you at the beginning of the video. Bro, that video screamed to me a man that is taking on the leadership role this season like bro from what my brother rev told me because rev you know as as we all know he had access today he was in the building for media day and he personally was telling me telling the gang that the vibe's just different bro like Melo just walked in with a different kind of aura a different kind of maturity a different level of leadership listen it's not no jokes this year man it's not no jokes this year. Yeah, the team might be shit, but fuck it. Fuck it. You deal with the cards that you're dealt. Yeah? And that's just the bottom line. The Charlotte Hornets organisation know that they have to put all their chips towards Lamelo Ball. The value of your franchise is tied to this one man. So you can't fuck about this season. And it is clear to see, based off of everything we've seen from Hornets Media Day, that they have unequivocally giving the keys to Lamelo Ball. He is the unequivocal. Is that even the right way to say it? Fuck it, I'm going to run with it anyways. Sue me. He's unequivocal. He's unequivocally, unequivocally the leader of the Charlotte Hornets franchise. Now I said that word correctly. Unequivocally. <laughs> but it is clear to see that, that they've given the keys to Melo and really they ain't have no other fucking chase. But me personally, from what I've seen of Hornets Media Day, man, Melo's energy was just different, bro. It was just different. Even the way he was just coming across when answering the questions, he just sounded like a leader, bro. You know, when he talked about, when they asked him about, you know, the recent playing loss to, to Atlanta. And he talked about how, listen, that loss should motivate, motivate us, but really and truly... That first playing loss to, Indi to the Indiana Pacers should have motivated us. So shit, we got to look inward and be better this year and improve individually and as a team. And when we do that improvement, improve some fucking more. Yeah, Melo was, was on that big boy talk today. He was on that big boy talk today. When they asked him about 
Leandro Ball. That nigga was slick. He was on that sift timing. The man said, yeah, it's a blessing that he's on the team, but, you know, I'd really love for him to be on the actual roster. Now, obviously, I'm paraphrasing, but, that, you know, that's, that's more or less what he said. I'd love for him to be... I'd love, to, love for him to actually be on the actual roster. Now that, now, that, listen, that right there, if you didn't pick up on that, that was a direct message to the organisation. He used that press conference as a way to send a message to the Hornets organisation, like, yo, I'm not playing around this year. You don't want me to sign that extension? You lot best make sure that my brother's on that roster, bro. He's sitting on that bench next to me in that roster. We on that court together. Otherwise, I ain't signing, bro. That's the message he sent. And that's the kind of big boy timing that Melo's on this season. That's what I could, just, I could just feel the energy through the screen. And I love it. I love it. And I'm excited for this season, man. You know, even the words that, that, that Steve Clifford's been, you know, the answers that Steve Clifford gave to the questions he was asked at media day, it just, it just signaled to me an energy shift, you know, that everybody realises that, you know, Melo is that guy. He's that guy. He's always been that guy. But I think now there's no debating that this is his team. And, you know, in order for him to sign that rookie extension, you have to do everything you can to make LaMelo Ball happy. To satisfy his demands and his needs. That's the way it goes. That's the NBA. You do what you can to make your franchise player happy. Because if he's not happy and he goes, I'm telling you now... The Charlotte Hornets will become the Las Vegas Hornets, bro. They will become the Las Vegas Hornets. You think I'm playing? You think I'm playing? Bro, there's already talk about Michael Jordan possibly selling the team. Them niggas need Melo. They need that bread. So you best make shit right because you lot are treating them like shit the last couple seasons. You know, and another, another, you know, another part of media day that signaled to me that Lamelo is taking on that leadership role. He's taking on the mantle of being the leader. They asked him a question about Miles Bridges and, you know, I think that was poor from the PR side of things from the organisation that they allowed that question to be asked to Melo. But they asked him anyways about Miles Bridges and the whole situation and, you know, Lamelo said that, you know, we've been talking and, you know, that's my brother, I miss him, you know, and I hope to see him on the team this season. I'd like to see him on the, back on the team this season, right? And I know a lot of people had problems with that, had issues with that, obviously, regarding the allegations that have been placed at the doorstep of Miles Bridges. But I had no issues with those words at all. Because why are we so quick to throw away our brothers? Why are we so quick to throw away our brothers? We don't even know all the information, the full story regarding this Miles Bridges situation. We don't know all the facts. We don't know all the information. So how can we judge? Why are we so quick to throw, throw away our brothers? Why? Lamelo ain't throwing away his brother. And that's a real nigga. That's a real nigga. And I respect that, bro. That's real. That's real. We're not throwing away our brothers. We wait until we find out all the facts from the situation and then we make judgment. If the, you know what, even then, you know what we do if we find out all the facts and it turns out, you know, all the allegations placed at Miles Bridges' doorstep are, are actually true. You know what we do then? We rehabilitate our brothers. We get them the help they need. We make sure they're in a good place. We don't throw away our brothers. We don't do that. And I love that from Melo. And that showed me leadership, man. That showed me leadership. Because it, it sent not only a message to Miles Bridges... But a message to all the all those guys in that locker room that I'm not going to discard you. No matter what they say about you, no matter what the media say about you, no matter what these stupid casuals say about you, me, as the leader of this franchise, I will not throw you away. I will stick beside you. And that is that is morale boosting, man. And that's huge. That's huge. So yeah, man. Melo, listen, Melo got that number one jersey. The boy feeling different. You get it. He's feeling different, man. Just everything about it, just there was an energy shift, man. And I love it. I love it. And I'm ex listen. <laughs> Individually, I'm expecting a huge season from Lamelo Ball. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm excited. I'm excited, and I'm happy to see, 
you know, I'm happy to see what I've seen from media day, you know. So, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm a happy man. I, you could probably hear the smile on my face, man. With that being said, though, Mellow Bull, number one, leader of the fucking franchise, bat time. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Push us through the algorithms, please. I was saying we need that support, man. We need that support. Let House needs your support. Love you lot. I appreciate you. Unoriginal FC over and out.